You've seen in some videos people having cracked frames in their RVs from Lippert. All right. And so we were checking. What'd you find, Dave? We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two K&M motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. And let me show you, so when you come into your basement, right inside the door to the right, you have this main support. I'm going to show you from this angle first. There's your crack there. This is right next to your landing gear ram. Here's your landing gear right behind it. Okay, we're going to come around. I'm going to show you a different angle of it. Okay. All right, now let's go around to the other side. Now let's go over here. Now we're going to be right in the hydraulic bay area. And look right there, guys. Now, when the rig was sitting on the jacks, this was closed up and I could barely see a line there. Once John hooked up to the truck, we were able to clearly see the brake. Well, because I want to show you this. When they were leaving, what I noticed, now imagine there being trim here, but when they were leaving, what I noticed was everything here dropped. This went up, and I could see paint, white line popping up over the trim. I also saw that all the repair work I did on the other side, when they got here, it was separated. It ripped it all out and yanked everything up and I could see white line. We previously had cracks underneath our slides in the front of the RV and had them repaired a couple years ago. So this definitely Put up a red flag for us to be concerned about our frame it's happening right here and actually it's kind of bulging out that's a stress it's, crack it says it's really common right here and it's on both sides a little extra piece in the expansion joint thingy that you did here underneath the, right. where we what have I cracks do is I cut that where the crack is uh -huh. and then i fill it with the cicaflex which is what holds on your sidewalls uh, and then i put that right over the top of it so now that's glued, cut, so it won't crack out. Because if you don't cut the crack, the right. crack can spread. Right. What does it? What causes it? Well, you only have a an inch. <laughs> you have that much fiberglass, and you have flex every time you put it on and off the truck. So if you look at the newer ones, they're already cut. Thank you. Uh huh. <laughs> I did. I looked at some newer ones. <laughs> And so we were checking. What'd you find, Dave? Right. Either the top or the bottom. The right in here where you see the where the legs welded onto that post. That's where the crack starts. Right there. On this flat piece. Yeah. Uh-huh. And we're good there. So knock wood. You can also look in your hydraulic bay right back in here behind all the wires you'll see it right back in here above where that's connected again right right, right there and we have no cracking that I can detect and I got in there pretty good and looked around well, we are hooked up and we got the pressure off the front legs here. They're up a couple of inches. So we're going to double check on these cracks. Right now it's just dust. I don't see any cracks. No. Top or bottom. Just dust. Let's go check the other side. Yeah, 
Okay, now inside where our hydraulics are, you'd expect to see something on this bar against the wall here. Looks good, doesn't it? It does. Yes, it looks good. When they're hooked up, all this is like you see it now. When they got the pressure off the landing gear and all the weights on the hitch. But once they uh, unhitch, this portion drops down. And uh, there's a big gap right here and all that because this whole frame kind of. So you would see a crack in your caulking. Yeah. As if you had the same problem. Right. What do you think it's caused by? Well, I think. Your theory. My theory is, well, could be bad welds or just too thin of steel. But uh, my, I think my theory is a lot of people that haul these things with dualies, they're uh, number one, probably overloaded. Number two, that their hitch doesn't have any give to it, no bounce, nothing. And the ET hitch that we have is an air ride hitch. So it has plenty of travel in it to take that, it's on the truck, mm. to take that shock factor out of it hitting bumps like that all the time. So I think that's probably the, uh, at least part of the problem. The two killers, I think. So we are off and running with peace of mind about our frame not being cracked. So, how many beers for the crack inspection? Oh, gosh. Let's add it up. Let's see, I had to go there. I had to hitch the truck up to the thing. Well, first I had to get the truck, drive the truck around, and hook it up. <sighs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then I had to set the trailer down on the truck and everything and inspect it that way while the stress is on it, looking at all the cock scenes and all that. And then I had to take, open up the basement on the RV and take items out and set them aside. Okay, move along. All right, well, long story short. Well, you had to check the cock too. Yep, I had to check cock and all that, yep. Don't miss anything now. Don't what? Don't miss anything now. I'm not trying to miss anything, no, no. Okay, not. what else? And then so how uh, much? I had to go in there and inspect the frame, yeah. make sure the frame was all right, flashlight, hard hat on, and all that stuff. Mm. And uh, so basically, I think uh, maybe 10 beers, just because it was... It was not that difficult. You stuck your head That's in the basement we with a flashlight. That's why we went to 10 beers. Oh, for crying out loud. How about just a piece of pork chop you got left here directly from the skillet? Okay, I'll go along with that. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, a pork chop instead? Yeah. There you go. I'll go with a pork chop. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Either this just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.